So the last thing here is this bottom, very, very bottom area. The line and the information about the newsroom. Uh, we're gonna place it more or less approximately. So I'm just gonna draw a line, first of all, from one edge to the next. I'm gonna hold shift to make sure it's vertical because there's no guide for it to magnetically grab onto. And I'm gonna come up here and set a width of two points. Let's say how, how does that look? Maybe even more. Three points. I think that's too much. So we can do something like clicking in here and writing 2.5 and that's gonna be in the middle. And I also need to change the color so I'm just gonna come here, click on this and it is black but we need a tint again of let's say 50% and that is our line. Let me just make sure it's aligned here and it's not perfectly aligned but if i drag on it a bit i'm gonna get the green guide to show me it's fine now and the same here yes here it's fine I'm just double checking and i just need the last text box here um it's all of this paste it simply and then I'm actually going to resize it higher here where I have space and move it so I can actually see a bit what I'm doing. Now I have uh, this set up on different lines so I'm just going to delete the enters at the end of the line and move this just under the line and make sure it's as wide as the margins or the line above it so that it can be nicely centered. Get some space here. Select all of this and the font is avant-garde again. Normal. Okay. And it is eight points in size. So I'm gonna just, I deselected it by mistake. Eight. And now I'm going to center this. And also maybe just drag the box a bit lower so it doesn't touch the gray line. But there's also a bit of space at the bottom. Um, the last things to do here, make this a bit bolder and this and this and add the little circles just like we did with the squares at the top. So select this and change this to avant-garde medium change this to avant-garde medium as well and this too okay and now to add those little dots we need one before the phone and one before the email i'm gonna go to type glyphs and again, ITC Zaf Dingbats. And it's this circle that I want. So I'm just going to, yes, that my cursor is where it should be. Double click it. And what, when I use it, it automatically goes in into this recently used list. So even if I click away, I'll still have it here and I can double click to place it again. Just make sure it has a space both before and after. And that's it.
Now, to be honest, there are some small things left and we'll clean all those in the last video.